Watchmaking is a matter of the heart. It's pure passion. Whether it's a case, a dial, a movement that attracts you, today we're gonna to dive into the assembly of one of these watches. Marcus Bueller, wonderful to meet you. Thank you for joining me today. Hi, Justin. Marcus, take us into the manufacturer. Take us into your team. What does that process actually look like? You can devise the production process in three steps, in parts production, in movement assembly, in watch assembly. The journey of that watch from the start to the finish, that's a, a, a flow process, is that, is that right? It is right. It starts with the machines, with milling and drilling and turning, but we do also the decoration. That means uh, Pellage and Geneva stripes by grinding. Does the machinery differ for different calibers and different uh, families of watch? We have a production process which uh, is dedicated for each caliber special. So if it comes to uh, perpetual calendars and so on, this is another kind of production. This is more craftsmanship and more, this is more an art than a production process. So then, Marcus, presumably we move on to finishing. Yeah. Then the movement gets a face in form of dial and hands. A watchmaking specialist set and adjusts every hand manually so they won't touch each other or the surrounding surface during the rotation of 360 degrees. After that, it comes to the encasing and the last step is the fine adjustment of the movement in the case. What's really interesting about this all though is that this all comes back to, to people. We can't get away from the fact that this industry and this business is about people. This is uh, a most, the most important point and the, I think also for the customer is the most fascinating point that we assemble our movement and the watch with people. So Marcus, how do you ensure the highest level of accuracy at the end of this process? The first step is the employee self-check. The second step is a random check by the line manager who makes sure that the process is under control. And the third step, the most important step, is the final inspection. We do this twice, once for the watch and once for the movement. And this takes several days, which we test every relevant function. That means the rate, the winding speed, the power reserve, chrono function, the day jump, and so on, to make sure that we meet the customer's high expectation. So Marcus, what about this balance, this idea we've got craftsmanship on one side and we've got technology on the other? Yeah, it's key to create this interplay between these two. And this has been the approach for IWC since the beginning. And you can find this manifest on the seal Probus Cafusia, which means solid craftsmanship from Schaffhausen. And this is our guarantee for an excellent quality and also stands for the sustainability of our products. You mentioned sustainability. How does that play into your approach from an assembly perspective? A watch is made for eternity and our products are designed and engineered to have a least negative impact on the environment and the most positive impact on all people involved. Marcus, thank you very much. That was really, really interesting and, and really appreciate your time today. Thank you, Justin. It's one thing to appreciate a watch at the end of the process, but being able to fully understand the journey in the manufacturing, the assembly, the finishing, that's what really takes the appreciation of these things to a whole nother level.